Welcome back to another episode of DDE. Would you shut your car off? You're so noisy. What? Why, why is he gonna do that to me, Ray? And welcome back to another episode with SR Auto Group and Raymond back in the vlog. Did you hit the mirror? I got Corvette all over my car. Don't touch my American supercar. Do you think that the new Corvette C8 is a supercar? Uh, it might be a supercar. Oh! Not a hypercar though. It's oh, it's definitely not a hypercar. Uh, I mean, a, cool a hypercar. <laughs> what? <laughs> you just say it's not. All right, what are we here for today? We have some new mods for the MP412C. I was always making fun of me for having stock wheels on my car. I like stock wheels, but for you guys, the DFAM SR Auto Group's gonna hook it up with some wheels from McLaren. Wheels and potentially, did you find the wing? I found the yep. Oh my gosh, but did we get a third brake light? Yes. Oh my gosh, you are in for some what? mods today. All right, let's get this underway. Oh, oh, oh. There it is, you got it, you guys. From McLaren. Carbon fiber. Now, it's not a long tail, but what it is is it's got a much more aggressive arc to the wing for more and better performance in the downforce. It's crazy how light it is. Well, it's just, it's just carbon fiber. It's all carbon fiber. Does your C8 have a carbon wing on it, bro? Mm -hmm. Yeah, talking crap does already. Move? Cause mine does this. Mine's like <laughs> So you can see actually the arc right here is not as aggressive as the arc right here. Wow, that is actually really significant when you go back and forth between the two. Well, I'm excited to see this. It's a sister wing. So all you do is a 3M tape and it goes right there. It's a wing on a wing. The sister, the sister wing. That'd be awful that if it was right? a wing on a wing. Oh, that's wrong? My bad. You're now gonna miss though, what I do kind of think is cool is the McLaren across top. So when we go back up to Kelowna, we're gonna have to get another Just McLaren. Peel those off and put them on your steady hand, Damon, they call them. Apparently I read a rumor on the internet these are impossible not to break when they come off because they're glued on. The third brake light. Yeah, so if we break this at McLaren, it's $1,200. Will it break? $5,000 it won't break. You, oh, you want to make blitz now, you can't pay. You didn't pay for the last bet. No, I won the last bet and you didn't pay. Oh! Did it break? Uh, or is that just the glue? No, the clip fell in. I just made $5,000. He got it off without it cracking. Dave, I, mean, I just won $5,000. I won $5,000. Yeah, you reverse the footage, you bet on what? $5,000 it won't break. Jamie, I'll buy your wife Wait. and you a dinner out. Just reverse the footage and make it look like I do. $5,000 it will break. You got it off without breaking. That's good. Woohoo! That's not tedious at all. Here's my issue though. Seriously, your, seriously. Always got an issue. So picture this. I'm doing 300 miles an hour down the Autobahn, right? 300. Flips, whatever flips up. Is this going to break? I don't know. So I'm, I'm thinking, I'm 300 I'm thinking not miles. because you don't really go that fast all that 300 often. 300 miles an hour every day in this thing. 480 kilometers an hour. Reverse entry onto the freeway. This thing, you can't do that though. That's the Lamborghini I do that. Boom. That was easy. That, was that really took me easy, no though. time at all. No, I did that fast. Just got the wing off. Was easy. So easy. A new McLaren golf club there, sir. Yeah, Show so us a swing. Can, Give us a swing. I can, I can. Follow through. I better get out of the way in case that slips this out of his heavy. hand. My back is bad, but I'm follow gonna... through, follow through. Yeah, the guy's got the guy's got a oh jeez. Right through the Well, Raymond is working on the wing over here and we have the tires from the stock wheels going off over there. Before we reveal the new wheels and the wing, we need to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Rockform. Bam, you guys, it's Rockform. You know and love Rockform. I love these guys. Happy to work with them again for today's video. Right now you're watching this vlog. Might be on your phone or your phone's in your pocket. Phones that's, are expensive. That's over $1,000 for a phone. These cases are less than 50 bucks. My <laughs> phone in my pocket has no case. I'm basically naked right now. Don't look. I do have a case and these mean Meet or exceed military drop specifications. Look. Nope. Perfect. So here's my phone. I'm not going to throw it. This phone is expensive. This is the rugged case for the XS Max. Look how beautiful that is. Uh, uh, boom. It's installed. Good to go. Distracted driving laws. You can't hold your phone while you're driving. Rockform has you covered. This is the little magnet that goes on your vent. So you slide this on right here. I'll put it like that. It's in the clearance a bit different. Boom. It's on there. You're driving. That's perfect. That's it. It's on there. So it's a neodymium magnet, which means it's extremely light and extremely strong. So it doesn't add a lot of weight to the phone case. You just hit your head. All the major phones are there in the links in the description. Plus the best part is the DD fam gets a huge discount. Pick up your Rockform case. And in case you happen to have your phone and you're clumsy like me and you're like, oh, look at that. Every time 
it'll save your phone so you're good to go. Check this out, I kid you not, I throw this thing all the time, look. No, I, 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 no. I dare you to do that with another phone Let's case. Let's check out my phone you now that I- 300 yards, what an arm. Yeah. And look at this. She's good to go. Screen's perfect. Screen's perfect. Why? Because my rock form case. Now what's cool is I do throw my phone around, I drop it a lot. You can see right there the impact on the corner. So typically, if you hit the corner of a glass phone like this, shatter. it would shatter. Yep. But thank you to Rockform, I'm always protected. And I do generally drop this almost every time I get out of my car. Here you pop this out, there's like locking mechanisms. Just go to the link in the description and shop everything that is Rockform. You know what, these Gladiator XCOM tires are way too sticky for you. I'm thinking something a little simpler for your car. Well, I legit doing a track day next week. This would probably put me in the guardrail. Oh, absolutely. But I think it's really at your speed rating, to be honest. These are legit the factory tires from your C8. These are not yes, the they are. tires. They're the upgrade, the performance ZR1 package wheel. I'll show you guys something. So on the McLaren forum, somebody pointed this out to me. They said this is known as the penis wheel because if you look at... That's a weird shape to make on a wheel, don't you well, think? Well, if it was Damon, it'd be like, the penis wheel would be like, more like that. Yeah, I know, it'd be a much bigger wheel, like a 22. <laughs> so look at this, you guys. Ooh, that looks good. Carbon spoiler. Being installed by Mr. Brabus himself. Is that your last name now, Brabus? Might as well. <laughs> that jacket was fourteen thousand dollars on sale. <laughs> sicker looking arrow and sicker looking wheels. When are we gonna reveal the wheels? These wheels on. We should have put the Maybach wheels on. Oh yeah, for sure. That good idea. Yeah. That'd be good. That's That'd a, be a good that's a really good placement right there. Nice. I like it. So the carbon fiber wing is fully installed. Now we're just finishing up the wheels, the mounting, the balancing. They really want, like Raymond will not let this car out of here without lowering the McLaren a little bit. I said a little bit, Raymond loves to slam his car. Why is Damon talking, this is my car. So we're doing the wheels today and then Raymond was like, hey, yeah, this car is actually easier to lower. There's two purchases on the springs to lower. So you actually don't need a kit. <laughs> you don't need to get to lower the car. So while they're working on the car and finishing things up here, I wanted to give you guys an update on the F12. As you know, the F12 was shipped down to Aaron Kaufman's Arclight Fabrication in Dallas, Texas. I can't go down, Dave can't go down, so we had to send somebody to do all the recon work and have all the fun. And Mark is here with us on a FaceTime, and I just wanted to say, what's up, Mark? What's up, guys? How's Texas? How's the weather? The weather is very sunny, but once it starts, once the sun starts to go down a little bit, it, like all the humidity comes out so it gets very sticky you start sweating <laughs> but other than that i can't complain so you drove all the way out there 20 hours from la yep 20 hours from la took about a little over a day damn so, straight through. so now you're there you're yeah. with aaron you're with dean how's it going with the boys and the f12 build it's going really really well actually uh some parts just came in so it's gonna start picking up here and we're gonna really start seeing it to, you know coming together but yeah man it's it, it's gonna be very, very cool. Super stoked. Hell yeah, man, me too. And thank you guys for sending me out here. I know you wish you could be out here yourself, but unfortunately, you know, circumstances. <laughs> hey Mark, while you're there, could you film it for us since he's already there? Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> Thanks, man. Just use your iPhone, hold it sideways, get some content for you guys. Whoa. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a minute since I've seen her. <laughs> Are there some turbos kicking around? Some precision turbos? Uh, uh, oh, yes. Oh. Yes. Yeah, no, they're, they're, they're the perfect size. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually wrapping up episode one within the next hour yeah. or so. It's pretty cool. I'm really excited about this first episode. Get to meet the guys, hear their story. And Epic, bro. Well, hey, thank you for jumping on this call with us. You guys stay tuned. After this episode will be the number one episode with the F12 build, with Mark, with Dean, with Aaron. If you don't know who Aaron Kaufman is, you've been hiding under a rock, and you've obviously never watched any of the automotive build epic channel on uh, Discovery. He's been on Fast and Loud. He's also been on Gas Monkey Garage. So Aaron is very well known for building cars. Actually, not cars all the time, like supercars. He builds trucks. He builds trucks, six trucks. He did the uh, Pikes Peak climb in a truck. Good to chat with you. We'll see you when you hit Great the next episode. Hey, so after getting off that call with Mark, I am super excited to watch this with you guys because I can't be there. So episode one will be dropping right after this episode. Exactly when, I can't 
give you those details. I don't know if I'm gonna do it like the day after this video or a couple of this days is after. This exactly why you have to have notifications turned on. So you get the notification. Smash the subscribe button, turn the notification bell on so you get the notification when the video comes out like Dave said. That's very smart. Just do what I say. It's the smartest thing Dave said all day. The wheels are done. The wheels are done. You ready to reveal them? Yeah. What do you think of them? Oh, First I reaction. Those look sick. It, <laughs> looks, like, it looks so much more like modern and new. The, the other thing, wheels were awful. Oh, Fire the car up, pull it out, because you gotta drive it around the block because they lowered it. So we gotta let the suspension settle. But pull it out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull listen, it out. Listen, what? I'm gonna get like the sexy backing out shot. We need to wash the, the wheels car. are clean. The, the car car's first. dirty. Dude, it looks so good. Made the car look amazing, you guys. Oh, look at the wing. The carbon wing, straight up. Looking gangster. All right, thank God he's out of there. Let's put the C8 in here. Take my La Corvette for a little spin, Ray. See, he's driven, like, he has La Ferraris and all these hyper cars. Trying to humble Raymond right now. The La Corvette. <laughs> Woo! Not bad for stock. We'll get a better exhaust, guys. Hang in there. We have one coming. We have wheels coming. We have some side skirts and a front lip and canards and some cool. We're gonna make it look cool until we get the wide body kit. What are your thoughts? Slowest car ever. You just got out and said it was fast before I turned the camera on. Looks so good. I mean, I don't even notice that thing over there. Like, look at this. It's way more aggressive, the wing. This is absolutely phenomenal, dude. What are we doing here? Well, you got jealous. You got wheel envy. Thanks I didn't to say anything. Raymond was like, I'm gonna start test fitting four GT carbon wheels. And I said, he never Raymond, said that. it doesn't fit. It's not the same bolt pattern. Raymond's like, we'll hone it out. We'll make, put okay, it on. Listen, 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 what? listen. You've got two options for wheels. If you want some wheels for your C8. Got the white boys. Oh yeah. Or we got the- White's gonna look awful. No, it's gonna look so good, it's right? I look JDM, bro. <laughs> <laughs> JDM on my American supercar. There's no harm in trying just to see how bad this is. Look at that skill. <laughs> Boom. Oh, it runs him over. It's pretty how's, fun to watch, actually. Hey, how's your back? Hey, how's your back now? <laughs> oh, it's C8 time. We need a theme song for the C8. <laughs> Yes, yes. No. She looks so good, Damien. Reaction. What's his reaction? Stay here, Santa Claus. <laughs> White wheels. Listen, first of all, before the internet kills me, because the Strad man has white wheels, this was not DB's idea. This was Raymond's idea. And he just happened to have these from a C7 sitting in the warehouse and was like, I wonder if they'll fit. Let me test fit them on your so car. Good. <laughs> so good. So, so Look at how he parks. Like a complete Oh, in your lot. Normally one time thing. You park like a complete jerk in his lot. I drive a McLaren. See, I told you. What did I tell you when you said that? He's driving a BMW. That's what he should be. <laughs> Huge shout out to SR Auto Group, Raymond, the whole team. I'm not even worried about Dave's car for trying to put for fun wheels on the C8 and trying to lower it, which neither could be accomplished. I got a new wing and wheels thanks to Raymond here at SR Auto Group and all the fine people helping out. Pure wheels, link in description. More importantly, we gotta get SR Auto Group to 100,000 followers. What's your home address? Yeah, put your home address <laughs> up here. Phone number, give Raymond a text, we'll put it down the links too. You've got like 20 minutes to make the ferry, but I'm gonna point something out. If you watch the vlogs, which if you're watching this vlog, hopefully you do watch all the vlogs. Anyways, I use this rock form case every day. Go back and look at the videos. I've had this case for like a year. Boom, directions, rock form. There's a magnet right there. Link in the description, 25% off for the DD family. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. This car is gonna get a set of wheels. It's got a front carbon splitter, side skirts, and canards coming for this car, as well as some other little treats and goodies 
but I don't want to ruin all the surprises. Shout out to SR. The best part of today was not me getting wheels or a spoiler. The fact that Damon Fryer got nothing, nothing for Damon, everything for me. Dave's wing is actually huge. Corvette owners. Hey, this is a parking spot. What, what are you doing? What? I'm sleeping. This is a parking spot. This is the, we live in the elevator. This is the VIP American Muscle Supercar parking only. Well, that was a very short and sweet, very trip. Claren is so loud in here. Sorry, sorry. Those turbos. Those turbos just blew like crazy. And just like that, we're home. Well, I'm home here at your home. You shouldn't be at my home. You better not be in there. Boundaries. And you're probably wondering, this looks different. Yes, I did move recently. I am now in my own house and I've got my own garage. Room for the G-Wagon, which I love very, very dearly. In fact, today I was toying with the idea of doing a four inch lift and getting 35 inch X-Comp mud terrain tires for it. Gives it a very aggressive look. So maybe we'll do that. You guys let me know below. Should I do that or should I not? Should I leave it? The so McLaren. Well, as you can tell, those new pure wheels look absolutely epic. The new wing and the old wing I brought for a little souvenir, okay? There's the old McLaren wing. There's McLaren on it. And I think the new house needs some decor. So I want to find somewhere to hang this. Come with me. Oh, I have the worst habit of leaving every single light on. My bad. So now I have to find a spot for this wing. Where would be a good spot for this? You know, above the TV maybe. There. That's a big wall. I don't know. You know what? I'll figure that out. You guys don't need to stick around for that. Thank you so much for watching this episode of DDE. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give Rockform a click. Check out what they have to offer. Get a kiss for your phone. In case you drop it like I just did. It's fine. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Or your car. <laughs> yeah, it's not good news. Why is this. that? Because the front has a lift system. The base model has a coilover, but when you get the 3LT and you get the lift system, the fancy model means you can't lower it yourself. The fancy model prevents the ability for you to lower this car I'm by trying just to find a on, on a YouTube video how to lower a C8 3LT. It's weird, there's nothing. There's nothing on YouTube? There's, there's nothing. No one has this car on YouTube, that's the problem. Nobody.